so uh, let's start today's uh, tutorial uh, it's about uh, no, binary multiplication right uh, uh, there was and division also I've just removed that so that's not going to be part of your syllabus okay uh, so we know how a normal multiplication in binary is done right you have 1000 and you're multiplying it see, so i've just taken one example here so if you see if it is a uh, one out here okay we are just writing down the same uh, uh, number here right what is to be multiplied we are going to write the same down and if it is a zero we are going to write zero right if it is a zero again we are going to write zero and if it is a one we are going to write the same number okay so this is the advantage only for a uh, binary system right other systems this advantage is not there wherein okay uh, depending on what is here zero or one you either replicate this one uh, as it is or you put a zero here and uh, and every time we move from one bit to other uh, we are actually uh, shifting this to the left or other way around if you look it around the first one we are going to shift it right and then we add it so these are known as the partial fractions okay so uh, this we are going to implement in the hardware so it the, because it's a binary and we are just have to either repeat this or put a zero so it has become pretty easy to implement okay so how is that done so uh, you have a register here first you, you put an uh, multiplicand here right and you put a multiplier here right so uh, multiplicand a is uh, uh, this one this number uh, and this is the uh, multiplier this one what is there written in the uh, bottom right so uh, when you do that uh, you are uh, what we are doing we are detecting the first now we are taking the q number initially you initialize this accumulator this one also known as an accumulator in a microprocessor in, you are initializing it as an uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and this is the uh, uh, and then and then you are taking the multi uh, first bit okay of the multiplier and then you are uh, putting it to an max okay into the max we are giving a multiplicand okay multiplicand is this number uh, right Th this is the number which is going to be multiplied right so that we are putting it here and and then you have a control sequence so if it is a, a zero then we need to uh, add zero to the accumulator so this max if it is if, if this control signal is zero it will add and uh, it will feed and zero into the max okay when uh, wherever this double arrows are shown that means it's a data bus okay uh, wherever a single arrow is shown it is just a control signal okay single bit control signal so this zero data will be fed into the max and it will get added to the accumulator okay and then once you have done that then in the next step is you are going to shift it right okay once you shift it right so once you shift you if it is a one out here in that case you are going to add the multiplicand here to the uh, adder so uh, similarly so you got to know how many bits are there and how many times you have to shift in this case it is a four into four bit multiplication so one two three four okay uh, so uh, four, four times we multiply so once we multiply this uh, uh, four times right this data is going to uh, 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 keep adding yeah, and then this is going to keep shifting so at the end of the four cycles what you will find is um, this multiplier whatever data was it that was thrown out every time it is shifted out and our product will be available in this uh, yeah, q0 to a1 right four times it will keep shifting left uh, keep shifting right so final product will be available in this registers in this register here out here okay so this is how a sequential multiplier and uh, works uh, anybody has got a doubt on how a sequential multiplier works no okay so then uh, we uh, go on to take a uh, problem so you can expect such kind of problems in your exam also where we are going to multiply 4 into 5 right so uh, no, uh, we put m is equal to 0 1 0 0 in the accumulator initially you are going to put 0 okay uh, m is this this okay we are going to put that number there in m uh, and and a is 0 and and q is 0 1 0 1 that, that that is 5 right this is 4 this is 5 now the first thing we got to see is what is the uh, last number right it, it, it is it, it is 1 so you need to uh, add m to the accumulator so if you see uh, a and m are added out here 
right a and m if you add it <coughs> you get 0 0 1 0 0 this is last is the this is a 5 bit it's shown here 5 bit because this carry is also shown here right which is coming from the accumulator so you are adding you know, 4 here right q remains as such it is and then in the next operation you are going to shift it right so if you shift it right uh, uh, m is not shifted mind you m, m is here okay only this accumulator uh, and the right okay uh, and these 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 registers are shifted here data so when you uh, shift it right another thing which is important to note out here is okay when you shift a zero will be pumped in here okay it is not an arithmetic shift it is a logical shift so anytime you shift it a zero will be now pushed in here so it is zero here so this is get just getting shifted here this one has come down here right and here also this one has gone out and it is one zero zero one zero zero this zero has come from a out here then it has become zero zero one zero okay now in the next cycle if you see it is zero out here <coughs> so you need to uh, add zero so the accumulator and uh, comes down as it is because you are adding zero so there is no change in the accumulator q is here uh, and and then again you shift it right okay in the third cycle it is a one out here so you got to add now with this you got to uh, uh, add this m and then you put it here right and then you shift it in the next cycle and uh, uh, this in the load cycle q comes as it is down see when you're uh, loading only the this data gets changed this remains and uh, this doesn't change so in the load cycle if you see this is not getting changed in the whereas in the shift cycle this data is pushed into here and the, the entire chain gets shifted so in the shift right operation so uh, this is going to be uh, shifted to the entire right okay so this is going to be one zero one one so this is going to be uh, shifted out here again in the load cycle it is a zero it, it remains so at the end of the four cycle you get an answer out here in this you know, a and q the their final answer is available in a and q which is 20 so if you see uh, this is 16 plus 1 plus 4 14 so this is uh, plus uh, 4 20 so the final answer is available in this uh, a and q register so this is how the multiplication works and uh, is it uh, clear to all of you mm, how this works anybody can you just say yes or no so that i know i'm still online yeah okay so this is the uh, uh, first kind of uh, multiplier which is important and the next kind of uh, 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 multiplier is booth algorithm in the booth algorithm uh, we can also use uh, negative numbers that we know two's complement number okay uh, uh, this is a similar to the initial thing i explained the theory behind that and uh, uh, in the class uh, how this works only thing is uh, we we need to compare the instead of comparing only the last bit we have to comp uh, compare two bits okay uh, la uh, last two bits in the q register there we were here we were comparing only the one bit here we are going to compare two bits so in this case when if it is one one or zero zero we don't do anything as compared to the previous stage in zero we didn't do anything here in two conditions one one and zero zero we don't do anything whereas for zero one we are going to add and one zero we are going to subtract so instead of a plain adder we require an adder subtractor okay and we need to uh, and and to make the decision we need to take uh, two bits at a time so that are the uh, two uh, differences and another major difference out here is it is arithmetic shift okay arithmetic shift means whenever we are shifting it towards the right whatever was the msb so there will be one vacant slot available in the uh, leftmost position right in, in the msb position in that msb position what was whatever was the previous msb that is going to remain there okay not a new uh, not a zero there so uh, if, if earlier before shifting if the msb was zero in the vacant msb slot now is it will be a zero and if, if it is a uh, earlier it was a one in the msb and it, it has been shifted to right in the msb again it would be a one so that these are the few differences uh, what we have in the booths uh, algorithm 
so if you uh, take an example out here so uh, uh, this is an a initially we are going to multiply 4 right so i have written uh, uh, 4 here okay minus 4 we are going to multiply minus 4 so this is minus 4 representation right in 2's complement and this is 4 i have written 4 also here because we are going to whenever we want to subtract and a minus 4 it will become 4 right so so 4 is written here for convenience right so this is q so we need to take one more q uh, minus 1 out here also initially and and put and load a zero there accumulator is going to be loaded zero q minus 1 is also going to be loaded zero right this is the number of cycles this is just the number of cycles now initially the first one now you have to see uh, you, you, sh you should not make a mistake of comparing these two initially itself okay you got to put one q minus one and put a zero here and and then the st cycle starts so now zero zero you do nothing so the accumulator you know, comes as it is q comes as it is and then you are going to uh, shift right so zero 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 so this is going to be shift here so this one has come here so this zero has come here so now now in the uh, second it is one zero if it is one zero i said we need to subtract it okay uh, so uh, subtract accumulator from the uh, from the uh, from a so now it is uh, minus a is zero one zero zero so you add that to zero zero so you get zero one zero zero so this is how uh, we have done accumulator minus a so this is uh, a, it is minus zero 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 so it has come as okay uh, zero one zero zero now it is zero 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 one yeah uh, this, this is going to remain same and then you shift right you do the right operation right and then in the next stage if you see it is in a, uh, zero and one now right this and this you are going to compare these two zero and one means you add so you add so this is the number this is actually minus four so you add as it is as it is and then you shift the again operation and again in the last of uh, cycle if you see this is again zero zero so you don't do anything so you just uh, 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 write the same thing down here okay and then in the last in the final stage you shift it once now the final answer which is uh, available to you is it's not available in q minus one it will be available in a and q so if you see this is a representation of minus 20 in two's complement okay so this is how we get the final answer okay so that's all uh, these are the two problems which i wanted to discuss uh, so practice these kind of problems you you might have similar problems for your final exam okay uh, now with that uh, 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 we come to the end of this uh, tutorial for this semester if there are any doubts uh, uh, you can ask me now anybody no okay